Section 1001 of Title 18 makes it, it makes it a federal crime to knowingly make false statements to Congress. Is the Department of Justice investigating Dr. Fauci for lying to Congress? And will you appoint a special prosecutor to do so? Yeah, and you're ugly. Well, why don't you cry about it? Saddlebags. Hey, what's up, everybody? Jazz Gonzo here. Another episode of What's Next. Happy Monday to you all. There's a lot of things been going on, a lot of things that went on this weekend, a lot of things that went on this past week, and I covered a number of them. But I haven't covered uh, Lord Fakwa. That's right, uh, for all you who don't know, that is one Anthony Fauci, who's considered one of the most evil and most vile pieces of shite on the American landscape because of everything that's happened over the last 18 plus months. Uh, the stuff we thought we knew, the stuff we uh, said it was true, turned out to be lies. More new stuff has to come up, more lies to cover it up, and on and on and on. But we are going to uh, we're going to take a little bit of a look back in regards to what happened with Lord Farqua, and of course, most recently, Lord Farqua decided to. Reveal some things. And a this comes out of Fox News. Rand Paul blasts Fauci. Astounding and alarming to declare I represent science. Senator Ted Cruz and Rand Paul have grilled Fauci over the gain of function research. Anthony Fauci escalated his spat with some lawmakers over the nation's COVID-19 response by claiming they oppose science, not real science. Fauci has served as the face of the government's pandemic response, putting him at odds with lawmakers who remain critical of that response. Rand Paul of Kentucky has frequently sparred with Fauci over various statements. Uh, check them out on YouTube. Uh, classic, classic Rand Paul roasts Fauci over a number of facts, yet Fauci still complains, you're just picking on me. Over various statements and policies the president's chief medical advisor has made or endorsed. Most recently, Paul blasted Fauci for obfuscating the truth about the National Institutes of Health gain-of-function research after the organization admitted in a letter to the House Oversight Committee, ranking member James Comer, that a limited experiment was indeed conducted. Fauci said in an interview that with Face the Nation dismissed the opposition from such lawmakers as noise, saying they're criticizing science. Paul took to Twitter Sunday morning to respond to Fauci's claims, calling it absolute hubris for Fauci to claim that he represents science. Quote, It's astounding and alarming that a public health bureaucrat would even think to claim such a thing, especially one who has worked so hard to ignore the science of natural immunity. Yes. Remember that? With Rand Paul. Dr. Fauci, I'm as not you are show aware, the whole... it is a crime to lie to Congress. Section 1001 of the U.S. Criminal Code creates a felony and a five-year penalty for lying to Congress. On your last trip to our committee on May 11th, you <laughs> stated that the NIH has not ever and does not now fund gain-of-function research in the Wuhan Institute of Virology. And yet, gain-of-function research was done entirely in the Wuhan Institute by Dr. Xi and was funded by the NIH. Oh, now we go from that to this. This comes out of the Federalist. NIH letters show Fauci lied to Congress about funding for gaining function research. A letter, and this was dated October 21st. A letter that came out Wednesday from the NIH offers more evidence that Anthony Fauci lied to Congress and he repeatedly denying that federal health agencies ever funded gain of function research. The NIH has not ever or does not now gain fun uh, fund gain of function research. Fauci said in May in a back and forth with Kentucky Republican Senator Rand Paul. Of course, Rand Paul roasted him because of such. When challenged on an annual $600,000 grant to the Wuhan, Wuhan Institute of Virology through Echo Science, I'm sorry, Echo Health Alliance, a Newark based nonprofit, Senator Rand Paul, with all due respect, you are entirely and completely incorrect. Five months later, during which new details were emerged that show Fauci lied and would lie again. The NIH has now seemingly contradicted the directors of agencies National Institute of Health and Infectious Diseases. 
In a letter of the Over House Oversight Committee and Reform, NIH Principal Director, Deputy Director Lawrence Tabak contented Echo Health failed to comply with mandate report as stipulated by the grant that would have triggered a supplemental review process for gain of function research. Most Get recent tweet by one Ted Cruz where, yeah. Really seen that you are willing to use the enforcement power of the Department of Justice to target those who have political views different than you, even if it's a mom at a PTA meeting. Let's, let's try the other side. Are you willing to enforce the law fairly against people who are political allies of the president? Now, of course, this was Ted May, Cruz's Fauci response said, quote, the to NIH the new letter has not ever and does not now that was released. Fund gain of function research in the Wuhan Institute of Virology that was under oath, under testimony. This was at, as of October 27th. The NIH principal deputy director, in writing, directly contradicted it. Those two statements cannot be true, as you know. Section 1001 of Title 18 makes it, it makes it a federal crime to knowingly make false statements to Congress as the Department of Justice investigating Dr. Fauci for lying to Congress, and will you appoint a special prosecutor to do so? I'm going to say again, the memorandum that I issued is not partisan in any way. It has nothing to do with what I agree with or I don't agree with. I don't care whether the threats of violence come from the left or the right. Could you answer now the question I asked? The second question. We don't comment on criminal investigations or other investigations. If, uh, well, well, amazingly, when it's the political enemies of the administration, you comment loudly in a memo. Let me. We go from that to Fauci. So Fauci sat down with 60 Minutes in his response to Ted Cruz's roasting of him because I've got a whine, says Fauci. Oh, I'm sorry. That may not be part of the article. Uh, this comes out of Breitbart. Fauci says to Ted Cruz, I should be prosecuted. And then what happened on January 6th, Senator? Oh, so now he's got to get political. Oh, oh, and leave it to Fauci. I'm sorry. Did I say uh, 60 minutes? I apologize. This was to face the nation. Face the nation. National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases Director Anthony Lord Fakwa said Sunday, on CBS has faced the nation that it was laughable that Ted Cruz thinks that he should be prosecuted for corona pandemic failures after what happened at the incident of January 6th. I'm not going to, well, let's play the little back and forth, shall we? Any strict guardrails in place that the public doesn't fully appreciate. This is a political football, right? Oh, now. it is a total political football. Of course, it's total. And you take the fire specifically for this. For I do. His... I do. All the time. There's a congressional act with your name on it. Yes. Literally. Exactly. And it's just a, a lot of, well, anyway. <laughs> Finish the thought. <laughs> no. no, there's a lot of politicization of that. And I think there's a lot of misinformation, disinformation, and outright lies about that. I love those really buzzwords, huh? You got to love those buzzwords. It's painful and disturbing to see when you're trying to focus all of your attention on doing what you can do. The way we did to create the vaccines, to develop the drugs, to save millions of lives. And Thank you, Trump. This Thank you, Donald Trump. You going to say that? No, of course not. Of it. Two Washington Post reporters uh, said that back in July of 2020, you had been speaking to your wife about resigning. I never spoke to my wife ever about resigning. That's they got that wrong. I like to see I those never papers. Even considered for a moment of resigning. Why do you feel so strongly uh, about that? About staying on the job when you become? I mean, you were personally, not just rhetorically, threatened your security, your safety, your family. Yeah. H how did you deal with that? I dealt with it by focusing on what my job is, from the time that I went into medicine to the right now where I am at my with some of the investigations and the congressional committees and the Rand Pauls and all that other nonsense. That's it was noise, nonsense. Margaret. Dude, you got caught That's out in noise. a flat fucking lie. You got caught out in a Senator lie. Cruz told the attorney general you should be prosecuted. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have to laugh at that. <laughs> I should be prosecuted. What happened on January 6th, Senator? <laughs> all right, my thoughts. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that for Fauci to just flat out lie again. When he got caught, when Rand Paul roasted him the first time, he called Rand Paul a liar. Then the letter comes out in October confirming what Rand Paul said. Dude, you lied. 
your own boys at the you know at boys at NIH confirmed it. You lied about it. And yet, on this recent interview from last night, I mean, I'm sorry, from last night, from yesterday morning, he lies again. Lord Fakwa, the fact of the matter is, is that Americans have died because you have lied. Period. End of story. And you continue to lie and bullshit the American people regarding the COF, how deadly it was, supposedly, you know, that these vaccines were so dangerous and heinous, you know, when Trump was in office, but now they're the greatest things in sliced bread because dementia is in office. And you continue to continue to lie for your boys, you know, the chai comms. You continue to lie for them. And then you bring up January 6th. What the fuck does January 6th have anything to do with your bullshit over the last 18 months? Absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. And we will continue to get lies from Farqua because as long as you have those in the legacy media, like Face the Nation, ABC, NBC, NSNBC, you know, these knuckleheads over CNN will continue to cover for his ass. The American people see through for this, see through this, Fakwa. We all see through the lies. We all have pulled the curtain back from the great wizard to know who you truly are. You're a piece of shit. And with that being said, I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is what's next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.